Hi there, in this quick video I'm just going to show you how I repair candles that have had to be blown out too quickly and they've got a memory ring or they've started to do a thing called tunnelling. I also have to trim the wick on this as well. But as you can see, you know, it started to tunnel, that's because it's, uh, I had to blow it out prematurely, the weather's cold. Um, we've got another one here, but I'm going to show you how I get rid of that and this is a really quick and simple way as long as you keep an eye on what you're doing. Now Yankee Candles, they're not a cheap candle, so once you get this memory ring or tunnelling starting, the moment that happens, every time you relight that candle, it's just going to go down in a tunnel and you're going to have a wasted candle, and that's not good. So right, what do I do? I've got an electric oven, I preheat it to a medium temperature, and then I very carefully place the candles inside the oven, and I leave them there and, and keep a very close eye on them, do not forget them until they form a nice pool. Keeping a close eye on them, that is the key. Now here you can see I've taken them back out, same two candles, and I've allowed them to cool down. And what happened was, I leave them, leave them in the oven, keeping a close eye on them, till they form a pool. Uh, you know, it's all melted down the sides of the thing, it's formed a nice little kind of quarter of an inch pool, and then I remove them. The trick is you remove them with a dry cloth, not a damp cloth, and you do not let these candles get too hot. If you let them get too hot in the oven, you can risk smashing the glass, uh, or having it crack automatically, or when you pick it up, the difference in temperature, you can risk smashing the glass. You can also risk having the labels start to peel off at the corners, which makes them look aesthetically non-pleasing. But if you keep them in there, keep an eye on them, keep looking, and then when you see a quarter of an inch pool form, then very carefully, I mean, you can even just leave them in there if they're on a flat surface and let them cool down naturally. But I like to take them out, put them on a wooden sort of surface, not something with a stark contrast in temperature. Again, you could crack the glass. Put them on a wooden surface that's level and allow them to cool down. If you need to tip a bit of the wax away to show a little bit more of the wick, you might need to do that. But it's better than wasting the whole candle. Again, like I said, I need, I'm going to wait till it cools fully and then trim that particular wick. This one's okay. But that is a quick and simple way, as long as you're careful and keep a close eye on it and do not forget that they're in there, um, it's a great way of saving your candles. Even if you have to waste a bit of wax to you know, show the wick, it's better than wasting the whole candle, which is what will happen when you um, get a candle that's tunnelled. Tunnelling is a real nightmare you know, when it comes to candles. So, uh, you know, it's just complete waste. It's okay if you've got a cheap candle, yeah, no big deal, small cheap candle. But when you're spending you know, quite a bit of money on Yankee Candle and the like, then it's really a good idea to, if you do have to go out too soon and in a tunnel, you know, you haven't allowed it to pull, form a pool, then this is a good way to um, salvage your candle. But again, be careful, keep your eye on it and treat it with, you know, with respect um, when you sort of take it out. Don't put it on uh, stone cold surfaces. Hot glass, stone cold, doesn't work. Put it on a wooden surface that's kind of you know, isn't going to crack the glass. Be careful and you've saved your candles. Catch you later. Loads more videos uh, coming up in the future. Please subscribe. Take care now. Bye.